What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video today. We are back on Skyblock once again here on the Archon.net on the Origins Realm playing Skyblock. And since last episode, guys, we have done a lot of stuff. As you guys see, our island looks completely different from last episode. We have a sugarcane farm, which we built last episode, as you guys know. But now, a automatic one, and we built a cow farm. So a lot of this actually couldn't have been done without a lot of the people that have entered my island. Big shout out to Mix44 and Nyko Nax who actually helped me out with this island. They don't have any YouTube channels or anything like that. They're just good friends that I've known for a very, very long time uh, that, that have been helping me with the island and love to play Skyblock. They actually left the sign for me over here. Build IG farm within the G-Stone walls. Okay, all right, so it looks like Mix actually gave me an outline for where to build the IG farm, which I was planning to do maybe next episode or something like that. So this is where we're going to build it. I do not know how to really build an IG farm. I'm pretty sure it's just like a normal factions IG farm where you have lava and signs. And it's really, really simple. But let's go over a few things before we get into the main part of today's video, actually. So I did not know that IS top is actually based on the ores that you put in on your island. I mean, so as you guys see, the top one has over 950 million. We have built a little bit of a skyscraper and I'm going to be working on this on and off episodes I'm pretty sure if we do slash IS level over here, is that the command? Yep. Our level is currently at 1.3 million, which is obviously nothing compared to the top island on here. Uh, but we're going to be continuing to build this whole thing up, build multiple skyscrapers, and we're going to be expanding our island even more. As you guys see, I did build a little bit of a, of a homey, a little small house over here. I actually posted this on Twitter a couple of days ago. So if you do not follow me on Twitter, just make sure to go follow me down in the description. But I, I built a little bit of a basic home over here. Uh, just because I was bored playing on Skyblock. And uh, yeah, it's nothing much. Just a little random home that I want to build uh, to make the island feel a little bit more homey. We have an automatic sugarcane farm over here. Basically, once it grows to a certain level, it'll go into this chest right over here. Yeah, I see some sugarcane over here. And I'm pretty sure... Uh, I do not know if I can make this happen, but maybe you guys can help me out. I want to make... I want to, like, figure out if I can get my robot to auto-sell uh, the sugarcane. Let me go see if we can go to mode... And then we can go to farming. Okay. So I'm pretty sure there isn't a mode for it to automatically sell the robot itself. Maybe we have to upgrade or something. I do have one of those robot chips, uh, which I got in the last episode. Maybe if we put this on here, how do I even use these robot chips? I have these from last episode and I want to use them in today's episode. So how do I just, do I just right click this guy? Is that what I do? Oh, okay. It worked. Okay. Robot 1183 tier has been set to standard. Okay. All right, I see what I just did. So before our tier list was basic, so now it's standard. So basically, did I, I, I probably unlocked a bunch of new stuff. We're going to use all of our microchips on this one robot over here. I'm pretty sure Mix and other people... I'm pretty sure Mix and other people on my island actually have their own robot, but it only lasts a day. And by the way, I'm actually going to switch back to shares for today's episode because a lot of you guys said in the comment section that you guys really, really liked the shares aspect of uh, the recording. So we're going to turn that on. And look how much better the game looks, boys. But we're going to continue upgrading this robot over here. Oh, advanced. Okay. Okay. All right. Now our robot is up to advanced. And we're going to upgrade it again. There we go. And now he is at ultimate. I do not know exactly the, the logistics or how many upgrades are on the robot. And what these upgrades do to the robot. But do they expand them? Oh, I'm guessing they just... Whatever ability they have already. It just basically doubles it each time I upgrade it. Is that basically what it is robot is currently in sleep right now so i think what i might, might want to do is bring him over here to uh our uh cobblestone generator and he can go mine some stuff so let me go do how do i tp the robot here slash robot and then we're going to tp him all the way over here teleport here and then we're going to set him into mining mode for him to start mining there we go and if i'm correct this should work and all the ores should dump straight into this thing right over here oh my god I think I got the robot to work. For some reason, he looks like he's on fire, but he's mining all the stuff pretty fast. And if this is working, it should go straight into this chest right over here. Okay, looks like it's a bit filled up right now. But anyways, what I want to do, what I want this robot to do, it seems like it's working. I just need to figure out how to transfer. We probably need to add more hoppers to the system for this robot to actually be effective. So let me just see if I have a couple of hoppers in my E chest. Are uh, any of this around here? I probably got to actually buy them from shop to be honest. All right, there we go We got a couple of hoppers 150k. There we go. And by the way guys, I do 5.6 mil right now So we have a little bit more money from last episode But let me just see if we can find any chest or any of that sort. Yeah, there we go Okay, we got two chests right over here and we're gonna go slash shop buy a little bit more wood 
and then I'm pretty sure this robot should work. Okay, let me just mine this down here. All right, so I think I got this hopper system to work. I just need to expand it a little bit more, and I'm gonna have to build a little bit more down uh, to actually make this possible. Uh, but this is the gist of it. So basically, this robot's gonna be standing here the whole entire time, mining some ores, and if I can figure out how to make an auto smelter or something like that in one of these episodes, we can have instant money 24 7 from this robot as you guys see look at how much lapis we get let's just sell some of this right now and i'll show you guys how much we can get from this if i can sell all right over here look how much we can get from just simply standing and doing absolutely nothing on the server and of course lapis isn't the best ore but we can also get diamonds uh emeralds all that type of stuff as you guys see 9400 just by absolutely doing nothing so this is the type of cash that we can make from this robot but moving on to the most important thing that was built before our in-between episodes is this automatic cow farm so as you guys know in last episode we actually got about 40 cow spawners around that and uh mix 44 actually helped me out and he made a little bit of a cow farm for us so he did he actually did the whole entire thing he did the design i was actually busy the past couple days that's why there hasn't been an upload in around three to four days on the channel but as you guys see this ig farm is efficient and aesthetically pleasing the trees are actually, oh, I love this design. And look at the top. This guy actually went all out on this IG farm. If we go over here, this is a storage area that he built. We're actually going to sell some of the steak while we're at it over here. It should filter all the way down here. Yep, okay. So we're going to get the steak. I'm pretty sure Mitch just hopped on earlier. And he was selling all the items. So that's why there's not a lot in here. But we can actually make some decent money off this. If we do slash sell all, we can make quite a bit of money. Again, it's not as much as if we had like a creeper farm or like an iron golem farm. But still our first money source on the whole entire server other than sugarcane. So as you guys see, we have a sugarcane farm, an automatic sugarcane farm, an automatic cow farm. And then we also have uh, our minion mining over here, getting us ores. So we have a couple sources of money right now. We're slowly getting up there in IS top. I do not know how long it will take us to even get to 950 million if that's even possible with the amount of people on our island honestly but what i actually want to do is i have something that i got from last episode that i did not go over and that is we go into slash shop and we're gonna go buy some cobblestone right over here let's just buy about 64 uh maybe about three stacks of this and then we'll put it on the side or wherever but if we go into our e-chest over here or is it our pv1 or one of our pvs i'm pretty sure Oh, never mind. It's in my inventory. We have these things called Gens Transformers. And by the way, on a side note, I did not realize I got 10 cow spars in my inventory. I actually probably need to place these. But as you guys see, it says transforms all cobblestone within eight blocks into valuable gem blocks. So I haven't used this, and I do not know exactly what it does. But by the description, it should do what I think it does. So if we place a bunch of cobblestone right here, it should turn all the blocks into gem blocks i'm pretty sure all right so it looks like we got a lot of cobblestone placed already if i just place this gen transformer right here will it work three two one you want more cobblestone nearby to transform wait it says eight block radius right so is this eight block one two three four five six. okay this is not eight block yet all right so i'm just finishing up right now i place a lot of cobblestone and i asked the chat how to actually use this thing and apparently you're supposed to place an eight by eight by eight cobblestone wall so i'm doing that right now we got all our cobblestone. I got about eight stacks placed. And we're going to place this gen transformer and see if this finally works. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, there it is, baby. Holy crap. That's a lot of ores. What the hell? That is a lot of freaking ores. Wait, did that just level up our island just like that? Wait, let me try mining a block and see if this works. Wait. Oh, okay. Let me mine that block and we're going to place it down. All right. So I'm actually mining the blocks right now. And I think we went up about 200k levels. So that's actually, that's a, that's a pretty good amount. We do have another one of these gen transformers over here. But I'm probably going to do this one off screen just because it actually took me such a long time to do this. And I actually don't know what to do with this big cluster of uh, ores, to be honest. Do I sell it? Do I leave it for levels? What do I do? Maybe leave a comment down below because I honestly don't know what to do. Like, there are so many emerald blocks, so many diamond blocks up here that I could sell and get money from. But I think the main objective for the skyblock server is to actually get levels and not actually make money like you want to get the ice top ice top's the top thing you make money off that real freaking paypal off it so i think we're just gonna leave these ores over here for now and uh we'll call it a day and maybe you guys can leave a comment down below and help me out because i got no clue at all to start today's video guys we are actually going to be opening a couple of crate keys as you guys do know we got three rare crate keys from the last episode. Let's just see what we can get from this real quick. A legendary key, an iron rank, a lapis rank, some golden apples. So some pretty good stuff over here. No ranks or any of that sort. But we're going to hop into here, 
open up a couple of ranks. Let's just see what we can get. Two rare keys. Okay, so that's a two for one right there. I'll gladly take that. That's an extra crate key just for us. Wait, what the heck? It says one mil? Is it a big glitch maybe? Okay, I, don't, I actually don't know. 30k XP. That's something I actually really, really need because I was thinking of actually slash enchanting in today's video. So slash enchant. We go all the way over here. It's about 60 levels for a legendary enchantment. And I actually need to learn all the enchants on here. Uh, so we're going to have to go over. Okay, let's see what we can get. Auto smell and grind. Increases your XP earned from killing hostile mobs. So this might be one of the prime enchants we want on our grind search. So maybe we might want to get a legendary book sometime. But for now, we're just going to leave our levels. And we're not going to open up anything for now. But let's just get into our last rare key right now and see what we can get. Come on, give me something good, please. Give me spawners or something. Okay, enderman spawners. I'll take that, a singular Enderman spawner. I actually don't know if Enderman spawners is the eco right now, but we're going to be using this in uh, maybe later on in a different episode. But guys, I think I'm going to end off this episode here of Skyblock. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, just make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's, or not tomorrow's, next Skyblock video.